the wind is making it extremely uncomfortable cold. Roughly it is probably minus 10, minus 15. We just had minus 27 a couple of weeks ago. In general, when the wind picks up, it's really, really cold. My name is Andreas. My name is Johannes. I'm in Norway. And I'm on the peak quality engineering team. Just a couple of kilometers below the Arctic Circle. This week we're going to take a Model Y through Norway and see how it performs on just a customer level and customer expectation. The testing is important because we can predict what the customer will experience when they are actually driving here. So the weather can be super local around here where we have no crosswinds at all right now and then three kilometers down the road you suddenly have 40 kilometers an hour crosswinds. So it's a very common scenario for uh, Norway where people live in the city close by the sea and then basically go up to the mountain to their cabins over the weekend and the water that accumulates around the car, maybe around the wipers or around the, the wheels, will tend to freeze and we still need to have a car that performs well under those conditions. that it's slippery. We're trying to replicate customer scenarios and finding all the challenges with driving a car in the northern Scandinavian parts. So for this trip, we have equipped taillights with a humidity, temperature and a pressure sensor to measure what the interior of the light actually withstands during the mountain climbs and the tunnel temperature differences. Lasse actually made a super good simple setup, which I think is one of the strengths of the field quality engineering team, that we can do a lot with little. So now we're a brief moment into the workshop to uh, inspect a couple of things that is difficult to do alongside of the road. And we try to do it quite quickly to not dry or heat up the car too much because we want to have it outside as much as we can. So now I'm inspecting the, the wiper washer hoses. The typical day up here is very harsh environment for the cars because you have a lot of temperature differences as well as elevation changes. So you can really stress the car in this area, simulating a complete winter in a couple of weeks. This testing hopefully means that we can increase durability and reliability of our product and that it will work in any scenario anywhere in the world.